We are all travelers in our own way. We journey through life birth old age always moving forward in time. But what if that journey could last for billions of years? What if your road was not a street or a highway, but the endless star-dusted blackness of interstellar space? For one machine, this is reality. It is a lonely traveler named Voyager 2. Launched long ago in 1977, it was sent on a grand tour of our solar system's outer giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. It showed us worlds we had only dreamed of sending back pictures that rewrote our textbooks, fired our imaginations. It was a triumph of human ingenuity. Space is big, really big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. The distances are so immense that our minds struggle to grasp them. Voyager 2 travels at over 34,000 miles per hour. At that incredible speed, it still took over a decade just to reach Neptune. Now it has traveled for nearly half a century. It has left our familiar neighborhood behind. It is now in a place we call interstellar space. This is the vast emptiness that lies between the stars. A place of profound silence and unimaginable darkness, punctuated only by the distant, cold light of faraway suns. It is a frontier in the truest sense of the word. What mysteries lie out there in that darkness? We have theories. We have ideas. We believe there are rogue planets, wandering aimlessly after being thrown out of their own solar systems. We suspect there are clouds of primordial gas, remnants from the birth of the universe itself. The date is September 7, 2025. Deep within the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, a handful of scientists are monitoring the data that trickles in from the Voyager mission. It is a quiet, patient job. The signal from Voyager 2 is incredibly faint, weaker than a snowflake hitting the ground. It takes more than 22 hours for its messages, traveling at the speed of light, to cross the immense distance back to Earth. The data is collected by the massive radio antennas of the Deep Space Network. These giant dishes are our planet's ears, listening for the faintest whispers from our robotic explorers scattered across the solar system and beyond. For the Voyager team, it is usually a day like any other. But on this day, something was different. A young analyst, poring over the telemetry from Voyager 2's plasma wave instrument, noticed a strange pattern. The instrument is designed to measure the waves in the thin, electrically charged gas, or plasma, that fills interstellar space. For months, the readings had been steady, a low, constant hum that scientists called the plasma drone of the interstellar medium. But now, there was a new signal embedded within the hum. It was subtle, almost lost in the noise. It was a repeating rhythmic disturbance, a blip, a pulse, something that should not have been there. The analyst ran the diagnostic again, and again. The signal was real. The data was undeniable. Something was out there. The team began to analyze the signal, trying to build a picture of what Voyager 2 had encountered. The plasma wave instrument had detected a repeating pattern, but other instruments had clues too. The magnetometer, which measures magnetic fields, also showed a faint cyclical ripple. It was perfectly in sync with the plasma wave data. This strengthened the case. A physical object with its own magnetic field or an object interacting with the galaxy's magnetic field as it moved. That signature matches an object. Voyager 2 had detected an object, but what kind of object? The team used the timing and nature of the disturbances to calculate its properties. The object was not emitting light. It was dark, it was cold, but it was moving. By tracking the slight changes in the signal as Voyager 2 continued on its path. In science, when you find something extraordinary, the first step is to try and prove it is something ordinary. The team at JPL began a process of elimination. They had to rule out all the usual suspects. The first and most obvious candidate was an asteroid, or a comet. The Oort cloud surrounds our solar system. Could this be an Oort cloud object nudged into interstellar space? Plausible, but it didn't fit the data. The object's calculated size was the first problem. Typical Oort cloud comets, only a few kilometers. Voyager 2's anomaly hundreds or thousands of times more massive. That would be a king among comets, far beyond expectations. A comet is essentially a dirty snowball. As it warms, it releases gas. It releases dust, forming a tail. Voyager 2 saw no coma or tail, no signs of dust impacts, or outgassing. The object appeared clean. That made the comet idea very unlikely. What about space debris? Quickly dismissed. This is interstellar space, far beyond human reach. The object was far too large and massive to be debris. 
The team was in a difficult position. They had data from only one point in space, a single flyby from a probe that was continuing to move away. It was like trying to describe an entire elephant by having it brush against your hand once in the dark. The data was tantalizing, but it was also incomplete. They had a snapshot, a brief moment of interaction, and from that, they had to piece together the identity of a ghost. The scientists gathered every last bit of information they could. They recalibrated the old data, looking for hints they might have missed in the weeks and months leading up to the detection. They used sophisticated computer models to simulate the encounter. They would plug in different types of objects, a solid rocky body, a metallic core and icy world, and see which one best reproduced the signals Voyager 2 had recorded. They simulated different speeds, different rotation rates, different magnetic field strengths. The models suggested the object was dense, very dense, denser than a typical rocky or icy planet. This pointed towards an object with a large metallic core, or perhaps something made of exotic materials we don't fully understand. The mystery only deepened with each new simulation. The scientific community was buzzing with the news, which was kept under wraps as the team worked to confirm their findings. What could it be? A planet? A comet? A black hole? When known explanations fail, we must dare to consider the unknown. The strange motion was the most puzzling part. Not a simple straight path. Models suggested a slight, persistent acceleration. Something was causing it to change speed ever so slightly. An inert, dead object should not do that. Mind-bending possibilities followed. Internal energy source? Geological process? Cryovolcanism? But it would need massive scale to affect something this large. Fringe theory. Artificial origin. Extraordinary claim needs extraordinary evidence. Yet the idea had to be considered. A derelict alien probe? An ancient vessel drifting between the stars? An artificial object with a failing propulsion system? Dense, manufactured materials, thrilling and terrifying. A silent dark ship larger than a moon tumbling through the void. So what is the final answer? What was the dark moving secret that Voyager 2 discovered? The truth is, we do not know yet. And that is perhaps the most important part of this story. Science is not about having all the answers. It is about the process of asking questions. It is about the thrill of the hunt, the pursuit of a mystery. This anomaly, this ghost in the data is a powerful reminder that the universe is far more strange and wonderful than we can possibly imagine. For every question we answer, the cosmos presents us with a dozen new ones. This is the engine of discovery. This mystery matters because it pushes the boundaries of our knowledge. It forces us to confront the limits of our theories and to invent new ways of seeing the universe. Whether this object turns out to be a new type of natural world, an exotic piece of astrophysics, Something even more profound the journey to find out will teach us invaluable lessons. It will lead to new technologies. It will lead to new models of the cosmos. A story that we will continue to write for as long as we dare to look up and wonder what lies beyond the horizon.